Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. Well, if you were able to join me for the unboxing I did yesterday evening, I hope you enjoyed it. So today we're going to crack on and do our first project. Now I've made a little bit of a start. Now, just to let you know here, I'm going to be using the, or one of the domes that I made. If you saw me in an earlier video, I showed you how to make a dome shape with two, two different shaped dies. And today we're going to use one of those. This isn't it. I'll show you what I did in just a second. And we're going to make a card in the shape of a mantle clock. Now I know that sounds a bit crazy, but it's me. It's not going to be normal, is it? So, but it's ever so easy. So what I've done, I used the shape. We're actually going to be using the frame. We're not going to be using the solid bit. We're going to be using the frame. And I actually used this. I used a piece of craft card from the kit. And I use that to determine the shape and size of my card. I just put my frame on, drew around it and cut it out. And I just made sure that that was on the fold so we didn't cut through it. So in fact, that's what we're going to do next. So I, I chose one of the lovely pieces of paper, the paper that came in the kit. This is from the Love From Lizzie Vintage Escapes. But if you haven't got this kit or if yours hasn't come yet, or you're not a subscriber to the Love From Lizzie, I will leave a link down below, but you can do this with virtually anything you've got. So use whatever you've got to make a similar product. You don't have to use this kit if you haven't got it, or if it hasn't, as I say, it hasn't come yet, but you can use whatever you've got. So I'm going to be using practically everything, well, not everything, but most of the things I'm using will be from the Love From Lizzie kit with a few, just one or two bits from my own stash. So here we go. We're going to put the frame on next, and I think I'm going to use, my red runner tape for this. I was trying to decide whether to use red runner tape or whether I was going to use a glue stick, but I'm not sure that a glue stick would actually be quite strong enough. So I'm just going to run some glue or some tape. You can use flat glue, PVA style glue if you want to, but I find that a bit messy. Well, it's messy in my hands anyway. And it never comes out in the place that I want it. So I'm going to use the method that works for me, which is what all crafters should be doing. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. Do what works for you. So I'm going to lay that on there like that. And we're going to press that round there like that. And already we have a beautiful frame. Now, if you want to do a card similar to mine, of course you don't have to do, you don't have to do an arch. You don't have to do a dome. You could use, you could do a rectangle some, because of course some mantle clocks are rectangular. So you could just use one of your rectangular dies if you want and go with that and perhaps have a square in the middle for the, for the clock face, but we'll get to that in a minute. So the base of the card is five and three quarters by four and three quarters. So that's the card, the card base, if you want to know the size, the card size. So it's five and three quarters by four, four and three quarters for the size. And the pattern, the pattern paper, this lovely pattern paper, that's the same measurement. In fact, what I did, I took a square of the paper stuck it on and then just cut round it. It's a lot easier than trying to cut it out and then stick it on because you're never going to get it perfect. Well, at least I never do. So anyway, that's how I did mine. Now, I'm going to show you how we treated the clock face. Now, I used a circle die. Again, this is from the Love From Lizzie circle dies, but again, you can use any circle dies you've got, or if you haven't got dies, you can find something and draw around it, like a cup or the, top, the lid of a jam jar or something. So you can find any circle. And our circle is, our circle, I'm calling it a circle frame, and it is two and three quarter diameter across here. And I am going to use a glue stick just to pop that into place. And then I'm going to show you how I created my clock face. So stick around and you'll see it come together in no time at all. So this won't take very long. Once you've done all the cutting, it's a fairly quick and easy project. So we're going to pop that in the middle like that and we have the backing for our clock face now this is what i used the clock face and i said in my unboxing yesterday i wanted the compass now what i've done i'm using the compass for the clock face because of course it adds to that beautiful vintage look and what i've done if i hold it up to the camera i've used a sharpie pen just a black sharpie pen and i've marked out roughly where the numbers would be and I've just put lines I haven't bothered putting Roman numerals I'd never get them that small 
So, and this is two inch diameter. So if you're going to cut your own, or if you haven't got this and you're cutting your own, this is a two inch diameter. And again, if you haven't got this kit or if yours hasn't come yet, you could paint your own or you could just draw your own clock face. So there are plenty of ways of doing it. Of course, if you really wanted to be ambitious, you could get a clock or a watch with a large face and make it into a real clock. So that's up to you. Use your imagination, let it go wild and just have fun with it. So that's what I've done with the compass. I've turned it into a clock face. So, and again, I'm going to just use my glue stick to add this because it's not particularly strong. It doesn't need to be stuck to anything with a rough surface or anything like that. So I'm going to stick that down like that. Make sure I've got the right bit at the top because it's got a little, like a, a little loop at the top there. So I'm using that for the top of my clock face. So we're going to put that down like that. And already we have got a super clock. Now we're not quite done yet. We've still got a few other bits to do. I'm going to put the hands on the clock, but I'm going to do that last. I'll show you how I did that in a minute. But first of all, I think our clock needs a base. So we need two pieces. We need one, again, I used, to, to use this, I used a rectangular die and then just cut it down. And our first piece needs to be, our first strip is four and a half by half an inch. And that is going to sit, I was just trying to work out roughly where to put it. Now we've got another bit like that and they're going to sit eventually like that. So I think, you know what, I think we're going to put that bit on first. So that's going to line up. Our longest piece is five and a half by half an inch. So I think we're going to put that bit on first. And once more, I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my red runner tape for that, I think. So I'm just going to, although I don't need it to be, I'm just going to put it along there. I'm going to put my tape on the card, not the strip. Because we don't need it all the way across. So we'll just get that lined up, just like that. And we're going to have another piece, this piece here, which measures four and a half by a half. We're going to sit that on the top like that. So again, oh, wrong one, I picked the glue up. I'll use the glue again in a minute. We'll use, it's all right, I was just making sure you could see what I was doing. Well, I've got a white background and the back of my card is white so it's a bit difficult to see so I'm just going to put that that time we will put it all the way across because it's the width of the card and we are going to sit that slightly overlapping it I think oh it's running away from me slightly overlapping and we're going to sit that like that so that when you stand it up you will have a clock that stands up like that so if I rock it backwards you can see it so now all we've got to do is put the hands on. Now it's difficult to give a measurement to this. You can really sort of do this however you like. And I've used a little bit of the peel-offs that we got, the rose gold peel-offs to cut the hands. And I'm going to use just a little bit because I've already tried this out several times. So the stickiness might have come off. So I'm going to use a bit of glue stick. And this is going to be an anniversary card because in a couple of weeks, it's our wedding anniversary. And I don't know about you, but the only anniversary, or most of the anniversary cards I've seen, wedding anniversary cards that is, they're, they've got flowers on them and they're all very pretty, but they don't take into consideration the man in the partnership. So if, you know, sometimes we need to consider that or sometimes it, perhaps it should be considered in the card making world. So I'm going to make a clock I haven't done a t I haven't done a sentiment yet, but I'm going to generate a sentiment which will say time to celebrate. And I've made a little hand, so just gauge whatever you've done, depending on the size of your clock. Now we got married at one o'clock, so I'm going to make my clock say one o'clock. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down there, and these are peel offs. But as I say, I've already taken it off several times just to gauge the, the size and judge the positioning and things like that. So it might have lost its sticky a bit by now. Now, the only thing I'm going to do, I wanted a bit of bling. Now I know we had some bling in the kit, but 
it's beautiful though it is it's a little bit small for what i wanted so i've just taken some bling from my own stash it's just one little bit and i just wanted that to go at the point where the two hands join and there we go guys we have got a mantle clock made from our love from lizzie vintage escapes kit or anything you've got in your own stash so i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope you have a go yourself and later on i will be making a, a sentiment and i will be putting on probably along here time to celebrate now you can use this for anything so perhaps if it's a sympathy card you could say time to reflect or if it's a get well card time to relax so time to anything that's appropriate so these are really great clocks and they're really great cards i hope you enjoy it. i've i've had fun working out how to design this and putting it together along with you so i hope you have fun having a go yourself and i will see you in our next video and the next time when i come back i'm going to be using that beautiful cityscape stamp and don't ask me to say that again and we'll be using that again in a little bit of a different way. So I hope you can join me for that. So thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber yet to this channel and you've enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button. It's, it's absolutely free to subscribe. It won't cost you anything. It's just a way for you to stay informed. YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video. And I'll see you soon with our next video. And in the meantime, thank you for watching this one. Take care, everybody. Have fun. And as always, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.